All these plants I inherited from someone who lived in a basement. And so, and so then I, uh, um, yeah, I just moved them up here. A typical day for me, um, you know, I get up pretty early. If, if I have time, I'll go for a run. I've run all through grad school, and then more recently I've gotten into marathons. I ran my first marathon this past fall, and now I'm uh, gearing up to run another one in August. Right now, I'm just kind of following the training program for that, and, and so I, I kind of incorporate that into my day-to-day, -day, um, you know, by usually just going on, you know, one of the training runs in the morning. And then that allows me to clear my head uh, for the rest of the day. I'll uh, usually spend a decent amount of the morning doing more like bioinformatics work and just have like a nice kind of quiet, solid morning. The Gehring Lab is interested in epigenetic control of seed development and we're particularly interested in how this uh, specialized tissue within the seed called the endosperm controls seed development. My first goal when joining the Gehring Lab was to develop this transcriptomic atlas of the seed through development. Transcriptome refers to the genes that are being expressed in a particular cell at a particular time. The transcriptome allows you to make uh, hypotheses about what functions are compartmentalized in different tissues. In the afternoons, I uh, have these uh, two Europs that work with me. We do experiments together. In this experiment, we're looking at Arabidopsis seeds. Using my collection approach, I'm, I'm able to capture seeds at many different stages of development. It's nice when we see sort of like seed silhouettes, like right here. That just means that, you know, we're getting this kind of like nice sort of like characteristic cross-section of the seed. In undergrad, I studied neuroscience. And then that area of study brought me to a neuroscience lab at the Broad Institute. But then when I came to grad school, I wanted to challenge myself to do something very different. And I was really um, compelled by issues related to climate change. I took the opportunity uh, to make like a big switch into plant biology. We want to rehydrate the samples uh, because the like in situ hybridization reaction uh, is, takes place in an aqueous environment. We're just taking the samples basically out of um, methanol and gradually putting them into a buffer that is uh, uh, completely aqueous. Now that uh, I've exchanged the buffer, I'm just gonna put the samples on like a gentle rocker and then they'll sit for five minutes before the next change. I should have enough time on Friday that we can do the first pass of imaging. So that's something to look forward to. Hopefully some of the things that we learn in my project and in the Gehring Lab projects can maybe inform crop improvements and so uh, we can maybe generate more efficient crops which will support a growing population and will potentially provide some resilience.